Let me step right in, there's announcements to cover. Death Battle kickstarted the season, formerly known as Season 11, also they won't be doing seasons anymore, they'll just upload 1-2 battles per month starting from this fall, is the result of Death Battle's crowdfunding campaign that was aiming to get at least 75k on the first day and half a million over 30 days. But since the Death Battle community is <laughs> insane in the best way possible, they gathered 55k in the first 21 minutes and at our this close, as the time I'm writing this, to half a million like 19 hours later, meaning that the fandom gathered enough money to fund a whole 16 episode long season in less than a day. Like, that is honestly a nerd of in my book, y'all are fucking amazing. Please do keep donating to the Kickstarter, link in the description. The more money we gather, the longer that battle will go on, and we gather at least enough money for a year of that battle, just to let you know. And now let's go over what the aforementioned season will entail. Subscribe for more Dead Bell stuff and comment which one of these episodes you're looking forward to the most. You betcha I'm excited for Bardock vs Somniman, be my most wanted Dead Bell matchups video, that you should definitely check out by the way. It'll be animated by Devil Artemis, who was also said to animate all 3D fights for this season, but we have to see if it's still the case. Not gonna lie, the animation looks pretty damn great so far. It looks like DA is using his own custom model for Nolan, which is the more compatible one with the Dragon Ball R style, especially compared to the one in Mortal Kombat 1. Also look, it's a Mortal Kombat 1 Clash reference. I think this also makes Omni-Man the fastest returning combatant in that battle history, which makes sense since he is pretty fast. I'm surprised it took us this long to get that Dragon Ball episode using a great ape transformation, but it makes perfect sense for such an OG to be the first one to do it. Given what the team is apparently gonna give Bardock, let's just say Viltrum will not get any updates about Nolan and his conquest for a while. A long while. Also, since I see Bardock lacks the iconic bandana, we gotta get a scene of him creating it from Nolan's rip cape at the end. That would go so hard, man. Also, shout out to my Twitter and YouTube mutual base voter. I can't imagine how hyped you are for your most wanted to finally happen. Link in the description for his channel. Okay, so I've never been a huge Sonic fan. I get, mostly gather everything I know from memes, especially the Snapcube dubs. So yeah, I did get that reference. But the fact that Moro, the man, the myth, the legend, behind the amazing hand-drawn stuff on season 10, is fully animating this, honestly just skyrocketed my levels of hype to the roof. By the way, the team is trying to get together most of the people who work on season 10, aka the best season in the show's history, for this one as well. So that's hype. The preview snippet looks honestly amazing. Eggman with the anime glasses effect always goes hard. And this being an army battle is just Jeff Kiss, man. The matchup per se is more about popularity rather than connections or shared teams, much like Mario vs Sonic, fittingly enough. But the idea of a tyrannical mad scientist and his robots waging war against a galaxy concrete dragon and his monsters just goes so hard, man. Especially when you say it out loud. And I think I now finally get what the hype is all about. Honestly, I can see this being on the same level as Bill Corridor's Scooby Courage levels of awesome from this preview alone. Well, looks like that battle rider Liam will get to do the matchup you want to do so much. Although it's confirmed to be more of a bonus short thing you project of this. I'm sure it'll be fun, but I'm still holding out hope to get a full Light vs. Walter episode in the future. Kratos vs Asura is also said to be animated by the Artemis, who dropped a preview not too long after it was fully confirmed to happen. Except I'm pretty sure this is a leaked cutscene from God of War 6 because look at this. Look. My god. Uh, how is he cooking so much? The setup alone of Kratos reflecting about his inner demons, with his fire weapons glowing as they sense the presence of a raging kindred spirit, whose fury echoes had missed Kratos' flashbacks with Zeus' Pandora, just made me think, oh, this battle will be different. You probably heard of this matchup being highly debatable depending on whether you go by gameplay Azura or lower Kratos, especially since they went with lore for both Dragonborn and Chosen Undead. Then again, there wasn't much else they could use for those two, but you know, let's see. Honestly, ever since season 10, I've honestly been more on the I don't care too much about who wins, just portray both characters as awesomely as possible type of beat. I can't wait to see the personality of Norse Kratos clashing with Azura being, well, Azura, the former's vast arsenal interacting with the latter's straight hands and many forms, 
Devil Alchemist has spent a lot of interest in animating Azura before, so I am expecting for him to be cooking something amazing. Not to mention the epic visuals and scales the fight can provide. Also, they already got right that the Titan knows Kratos as a bad luck with fate seeking gods knocking at his doorstep. Like, get a wing cam or something, bro. Next up on the list is the crew working on a rematch for a pre existing episode, with options like Master Chief vs. Doomguy, Yang vs. Tifa, and. Uh, that being brought as examples. Apparently even those who donated just $5 to the Kickstarter will be able to vote which one will be, which is really cool. My personal pick will be the Master Chief vs Doom guy, especially with how much material they gathered since then, how much time it's been, and how cool would it be to get a version that actually matches this thumbnail, a Terminator vs Robocop rematch with updated animation, models and weapons, as much as I kinda dread the possibility of one of the show's most uplifting wins being replaced with AI triumphing of the human spirit of creativity, especially in this day and age. A beast vs Goliath that actually matches the old, they may look like beasts but are actually profoundly intelligent premise, or maybe even a Mario vs Sonic 3, just to cap off the trilogy. Don't hate me, I just like trilogies, ok man? Chris Cruz, the same artist behind Samurai Jack vs Up for Samurai and Scooby Doo vs Courage, will make another fully end drawn episode. That alone is honestly deserving of so much hype, man. My personal pick would be either Aku vs Leech, since he clearly messed the Cartoon Network fellas, or maybe even Henry Stickman vs The Second Coming. Shout out to that being Cap Serious Most Wanted. I would think they already have someone in mind for Tom vs Wiley Coyote, the winner of last year's Tournament of Champions, but if not, Luis would be a perfect fit in my book, as he clearly mastered cartoon shenanigans. By the way, did you know that he was drunk when he made Samurai Jack vs Afro Samurai? <laughs> My god. Imagine being so peak that even when you're drunk, you deliver some of the best fights in the show's history. <laughs> Maito vs Shigaraki is a matchup that caught many off guard when it was first revealed, but the more I thought about it, the more I wonder why it wasn't in my most wanted already. Anime themed, villain vs villain, lots of potential for visual awesomeness, great animation, power slashing, dark tone, strong thematic connections with a clear contrast, it's literally got me written all over it, in terms of what I like in a death battle. The last JJK fight was amazing, and Mayo Academia did have an amazing episode as well, so that's a great sign. Speaking of signs, let's get into the connections. The both blue haired villains with the power to kill people from just one touch, thus fittingly carry a hand motif and seek to cause both physical and societal destruction, becoming arch enemies to the respective viewer rivals, both philosophically and psychologically for this very reason. All while actually being pawns for the schemes of a higher power. Funnily enough, I was once curious enough to read a blog about this matchup, detailing Maito and Shikaraki's powers and skills respectively, and once I got into the ladder, the list just kept going and going and going, oh my god, how many powers does he have, man? That combined with the reaction of this matchup I seen on Twitter fully solidified that this is basically anime Omniman vs Zomalander, in the sense that you aren't actually here to see who wins, but to see the douchebag in desperate need of an undignified smackdown with seeing exactly that. Again, given my thoughts on Maito, yes, I totally look forward to that. <laughs> I, I'm already grinning here to hear. Also, Shigaraki is the more tragic of the two, while Maito is pure evil and he's rocking a very Tetsuo-esque red cape, so that's 2 plus points in my book. I can already see the timeline for my reaction once the battle drops, being me and Shigaraki laughing at Maito like this. You disgusting fuck. Ash Ketchum vs Yugi Moto as the 200th episode of the show is a huge hell yes for me. I kinda grew up with both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, but I always thought Yu-Gi-Oh had the cooler everything. Cooler product, cooler monsters, cooler game, tone, etc. So you betcha that I'm rooting for the King of Games to win. While hoping that he keeps his distance unless he wants to catch Ash Ketchumans, because good Exodia, this dude's strength is insane. <laughs> but besides that, yeah, I think Atom has enough firepower to put Ash in an urn. Shout out if you get that weapons. Be between the fantastic potential for banger music and monster clashes, this battles around an amazing nostalgia trip I can't wait for. I'm glad they choose the very best for both.
If there is a 3D episode of that battle that you deem to be some of the best work in the show's history, there's a 95% chance Torian was the one behind it, before he stepped down to work on other stuff. So yeah, again, expect a 3D fight or episode peak quality in terms of both creativity and choreography. My picks would be the Ghidorah vs Deathwing, 62 vs Doomsday, Senator Armstrong vs Valentine, Xeno vs Temo, or you know what, Spy vs Agent 47 as a speed to successor of Cell vs Nank of source. Would be poetic, not gonna lie. This will probably come off as a shocker with me being a DC fan who totally loved Gurren Lagan, but I just don't care too much about this matchup. Like sure, it can get creative, cosmic, mesmerizing, embody the human spirit and everything, but I don't know, I just think DC Heralds, Lantern specifically, kinda soured my capacity to enjoy talking about them in a versus setting. It's always a low, complex, multi-galaxy, multiversal or some bullshit like this. Like it's much like my preference regarding Superman's powers. I don't like the idea of him being quote limitless or being able to really transcend concepts. I love the idea of him always having challenges he just can't power his way through. Same with most DC characters. I don't feel like seeing Simon die, but I also don't really see my chances of him winning either for this very reason. If he does win, and I will be very happy and surprised if he does, I hope Spongebob and Jinx welcome him warmly at the non-Marvel fellas who beat the DC character table, because to goodness I don't see that seat being filled anytime soon. Maybe I just need a preview to fully change my mind, like I did with, with Eggman vs Bowser. But as it is, I'm just gonna be happy for the many, many people that wanted this and not much else. Next up, we'll, we will get a live action fight featuring Ismark, the same person that helped the team with Nightwing vs Daredevil and Red Hood vs Winter Soldier. I don't think it's too controversial to say that the latter is a much better example for what to look forward to with this one. Been a while since we had a live action tussle, so my idea would probably be something like. Uh, uh, crap, I can't think of anything. I wanna say maybe a remastered Jason vs Michael with proper given time and resources at this time. Maybe something with Ghostface, as he seems to be popular once again. I can't help but think, I don't know, I can't help but think like the, some horror stuff would be great for this one. Maybe composite, composite Michael Myers vs Artie the Clown, that would be dope. Or maybe even Captain America vs Captain America vs Ichigo. I don't know anything about Kamen Rider, I have lots of online friends recommending me to check it out, but apparently it's the same general stuff like Power Rangers, which I did very much grew up with, so I can see them creating something both awesome and charming. Ch charm awesome. Oh yeah, why not? <laughs> also it will get us closer to a fight with Japanese Spider-Man, so we'll go for it. The most recently confirmed matchup as of the time I'm writing this is Ruby vs Smaka, in a battle between teenage sight wielding monster hunters. This matchup is very important since it was specifically requested by the late Ruby series creator Monty Am, and apparently there was this rumor floating around that he wanted this episode to happen after Ruby was over, but apparently it wasn't an actual thing, so hey, good to know. Regarding my personal take on Ruby, the last time I watched the show there was a dog getting thrown at supersonic speeds on a train or something, but I remember really enjoying it, I find Ruby to be a very endearing character, despite the homophobia. <laughs> the only thing I know about Manka is that uh, her series sounded pretty cool last time it was on the show, so that's that. Maybe this could be an episode for Torian to make, since he's great at animating weapons and such, but still, happy that it's happening. Remnants of the Souls are already a banger, so I can't wait for the official track. And so far that's it, as the time we're recording this. Safe to say we're in for a pretty stacked season. Given the insane amounts of stretch goal reached in a single day, expect more to be added soon by the time this video is up. Like I don't fucking know, William Afton vs Junko Enoshima once we reach 1 billion or something, I don't know. <laughs> Keep donating, link in the description. Until then, drink lots of water, I'll do the same. Oko Krypton, hope I made your day slightly better.